there's a movement going on with women in engineering. I've never really looked at it that way. I wouldn't think of it as what advice would I give a woman in engineering. I think in general what advice I would give is we all have competencies in certain areas and some flaws or things that we want to work on, different skill sets. Um, and we have to find the way that works best for us. So for me, it was really making sure that I didn't let that aspect of not being an engineer in a very technical company get in the way of my work. A woman coming into you know, more of a male-dominated industry as it is today, although it's, it's changing rapidly, um, I think you just have to make sure that you don't let that get to you and you don't let that become a thing. Engineers are a different breed of people. They don't see gender, they see intelligence. You walk in with you know, valid points and, and a good argument, they're gonna listen. And that's one of the great things about this industry is you get to come to a meeting with your ideas and, and you get to say, this is what I think, and nobody gets to say you're wrong. You know, you get to say what you think and you get to try new stuff and it, it's a great field. I just think it's important to make sure that we're diversified not even just women, but we want to make sure that we have people from different cultures, from different backgrounds, from different professions coming into a technical environment so that we have a very well-rounded, we have um, core values and we're all working towards the same goal, making sure that we're bringing the best to our customers. When I was in school, it was probably uh, three women to 30 men uh, in a class. Um, I think it does matter. I think that the perspective of women and men is a little different and it gets other people's ideas rolling. We're told that engineers are not creative in school, but I think that that's a little biased too. So hopefully that brings a little bit more of the creative side and less of the mathematical science -y side. That's what men tend to lean towards. Um, so yeah, I think it matters. I think that uh, women should be more involved in sciences and mathematics if they find it interesting. In my early career, when I started back in India, I think the whole office out of around 1,000 folks we were around 40 girls, that's it. Uh, there was hardly any women population. And it started changing slowly. There should not be a bias. There shouldn't be anything that says, oh, you're, you should do engineering because you're a guy, or you shouldn't because you're a female and you're better at something else. They, they should absolutely go for whatever they're interested in, whether it's engineering or not. But it's, it's nice to see you know, like-minded people and like, like people in the field that you're in. I gather inspiration from the people I work with. It's always been the case with me. When you see you know, people doing much better in their careers, there are a lot many people getting into it. It's like each woman is an inspiration for someone else. I'm amazed and inspired by the people around us and what we're able to do. You put brilliant minds together and where we've arrived at with Cyprus today is just pretty incredible.